All right, let's speak to the film critic James Luxford for more on this. They're joining us from Stratford-upon-Avon in the United Kingdom. Uh, James, good to have you with us. Now, just first up then, what were your takeaways from the awards? Uh, first of all, that it was a very different kind of awards ceremony for obvious reasons. The global pandemic meaning that the uh, biggest awards of the Hollywood calendar had to find new ways to make it seem special. And also uh, the large number of uh, diverse winners among the uh, the, the, the nominees, uh, of course, uh, Chloe Zhao being the worst first woman of color to win best director and only the second woman to win the award in the, the event's histories. Many firsts uh, write down the winners uh, from Daniel Kaluuya to uh, behind the scenes, uh, Mia Neal and Jamika Wilson, the first black winners for uh, makeup and hairstyling for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. So a very different award ceremony uh, in good ways as well as other challenging ways. Well, let's pick up the good ways first. And I think we can both agree that the diversity of these awards was something that really stood out. Do you think the Oscars have now answered that issue of 2015 of Oscars so white? Yes and no. I think it's uh, a wonderful thing that people, uh, a wider range of stories and a wider range of um, performers have been honoured and uh, merited. We are, however, 90 or so ceremonies into the Oscars history. This is, um, is in some ways um, in progress. Uh, in other ways, it's, uh, it's about time, I would say. Uh, so, uh, I think it's a welcome um, sign that uh, there are a wider number of performers and stories that can make it to the highest stage. Uh, but in another, in another sense, I'd very much like that to be uh, continued in the future. Absolutely. And the challenges of the night, I, I wonder if uh, what you're talking about is the fact that, as I said, many people haven't actually seen these movies for this year in cinemas. Is it a question of how cinema continues after the pandemic and in the coming years? Absolutely. It is a, uh, a watershed moment for the cinema industry because unlike other uh, art forms, theatre, music, the delivery system that is the most traditional uh, has been halted, but an up and coming delivery system has, uh, has thrived, I suppose. Uh, people such, uh, companies such as Netflix and Disney Plus and Amazon really making the most of that um, uh, shortage of theatrical uh, distributors. Um, I think in the public and in the industry, there is um, a thirst for a return to the more traditional exhibition, the idea of the biggest movies being on the biggest screens. Um, however, how, how realistic that is moving forward as we slowly come back from the global pandemic remains to be seen. Well, it certainly does. I am uh, myself looking forward to getting back to the cinema whenever I get the chance. Okay, James Luxford, do appreciate your thoughts. Uh, thank you very much for being with us.